premium video to accompany the machining of the bunch of flowers inside the log with the CNC rotor. So what you need to do is simply open at cam and say you want a new model. First of all you need to uh, indicate where you want the origin of the, the, the job to actually start from. I like to start these from the middle. Um, let me see 260 well, we're going to go 260 by 260 here. Um, but mid range for the resolution is fine. Uh, millimeters, all well, that's fine. So, what we're going to do, well, we have our work here now. So, what we're going to do now is select a relief out of the clip art library. Um, oh, here's a bunch of flowers here. Um, it's a really nice, uh, nice model. This we want it oh, somewhere in the middle there, and now then we are going to. We've got the lock on there, so you only have to alter one figure. So we're. You know, I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm going to change my mind. And I'm going to, let's go somewhere else here. Let's, let's, let's put it in a, I want to put it into a, a dish of some sort. Let's have a look. So you scroll down through the all, these are all reliefs that come with this program that you can you can use. Here we go. Um, a, a bowl. We're going we're to use this. We're going to put this in here. Roughly the center. Um, let me see. What do we got here? Um, you know, that's not a bad size. Maybe we'll round it up a little bit. We'll go 240. 240, the other side will 25 mil deep. That's roughly what we want, in actual fact. We're going to apply that. Um, well, that looks to be pretty good. So we need to toggle through this now, and we need to mm, merge this low. Okay, so now we have a dish in our material. This 25 millimeter deep. Um, let's have a, let's look at this from a different view to make sure. Yep, that's exactly what we we wanted. That looks just fine. Uh, let's go top view again. Now we are going to put the. Oh. If you lose something off the screen, you can quickly get back to it. Um, let's scroll back through these. Up to the very top, I believe. There it is. So we're going to get this and just drag and drop it over here. And to roughly the middle right. end. So move over here, my friend. So that's dropped into the middle now. And I'm just going to
I want to have this flower slightly coming out, growing out of the bowl, as it were. Or at least growing up. Somewhat up the sides of the bowl like that. Maybe a little more. You know, you can play around with this. There's no hard and fast rules. Yeah, I love some of the flowers coming out, but I don't want these, the base of the flower to, to come out. And I'd like it in the middle there if I can. That's, uh, so I'm talking to myself a little bit here. Here we go. That's that's okay. That's okay. Now then, what I am going to alter is this height. Now another bowl is 25 millimeters deep. So what I want, what I would like is, I'm going to go 24.5. So we we're sort of pretty well guaranteed. I know the highest point is about the, this petal here, actually. Um, that's about the highest point, so I know it's going to get machined if I have it a lesser number than what we know the dish is deep, then put it that way. So, merge high and paste. Um, now let's have a look at this from a different perspective. Here we go. There we go. So see how the plants are actually growing out of the bowl? Or it's going to resemble uh, that, hopefully. I've never actually done this before. Uh, oh, I did do it with a bowl of grapes once. That's going to be quite nice. That's going to be okay. I'm going to, yep, I'm going to accept all that. Um, view from the top again. And we're going to cut this with one tool. Um, so, let's see, pull the project tree out. Click on tool paths, um, scroll down, 3D cut. You know, there's many different types of cuts in, you can do uh, in this uh, program, but we just want the 3D cut, and it's a finishing operation. I'm just going to do it with one tool, one cut. Um, and we're going to do it with a two millimeter. It's actually a tapered ball mill. Uh, but I, I've just put it into the tooling list here as a, a two millimeter ball mill or ball nose rather. And we're going to select that one. Um, it's actually the program is actually preempting uh, what I'm going to do. Now then. Um, step over 0.24. Yeah, we want a nice fine step over, so we're going to leave it at that. Actually, we could round the figures up and make it 0.25. Uh, that's going to make no, not r any real difference at all. We're going to leave that as it is. Um, feed rate. In actual fact, we can step this up because this uh, Pacific tooling. CNC router will actually rip into this material, even though it's oak. Uh, 50 and 1500, mm, 1800, I believe. Uh, I mean, I can alter this in Mark III. Um, now then, spiral in a box. Mm, yes. 
from the centre out. Yep, spar in a box centre out, that's fine. Um, I don't want lead-in moves, I just want to go straight into the centre here and go straight into it. Um, safe. Let's check the safe Z, 25 mil. That's a bit much. Uh, I've got a, you know, it's a thick lump of wood there. Uh, it's a long tool. I don't want to run out of Z travel. So I'm going to make that 10. And I'm going to make that 10. To find the material, uh, 29, oh, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, make it a nice room figure, 30. Um, top of the block, absolutely fine. Why is that saying half a mil left after 30? Mm, okay, might make sense. Let's give it a name. So this is, um, so it's cut one. Cut one, and it's uh, two millimeter ball mill. Tapered. And we're going to calculate now. This is a fairly complex program, so it's going to take a a few seconds for the computer to work this one out. Millions and millions of uh, calculations. And quite a number of thousands of l uh, lines of code as well. Oh, look at that. Uh, what I can actually do, it, uh, although it's gone into a square box, um, I can um, you know, when it when it finishes doing the the circular bit, I can actually stop the program and not worry about the time being wasted to cut these. But we'll simulate. So you go into project. Um, simulate. Here we go. Simulate standard fast. Otherwise, we're going to be here all day. Let's go. And run. And this is exactly what is going to happen. What you see here is what is going to be re reproduced on the machine. Here we go. That's looking quite nice. Don't see any mistakes there for now. It's now to my um, flash drive, and uh, I'll just make it continue. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so. Project tree. Save. So it's cut one. That's all I need to put. And it's standard G code. Let's just have a browse, see where it is going. Yep, that's okay. I'll actually cut one. Two. 
Let me do that. T. Just in, say, in case I've got cut one somewhere else in here. And save. This will take, there's absolutely thousands of lines of code here. Thousands of, of, of lines and millions of calculations. And that should have done it. Close that. Drop that down. And I like to make sure that it is in fact in here. Where is it? There's, uh, no, roughly 12 millimeter. Where is it? Cut one, there it is there. I've got other things in here here as well, so you know, you've got to be careful and you've got to sort of remember what what you've named it. So there we are. So now uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this uh, short tutorial on uh, at cam and uh, the next video will be um, machining this uh, bunch of flowers into a, a log actually an oak log so thank you for joining me and uh, it's bye for now <laughs>